Okay, it's properly cold today. Ice on the pontoon. And we're trying to go from Burnham to Bradwell to get the boat to its winter home. The tide should be turning in about an hour. We're going to cut across Ray Sand today, that's the plan. Never been across Ray Sand before. Um, looks reasonably straightforward. <coughs> well, the sail bag's got a bit of uh, frost on it. Right, Ray, the autopilot's doing uh, the next shift. Well, I'll tell you something, it's just nice to get out of the wind. This winter sailing's okay, but bloody hell. Oh, ten minutes just to uh, get the core temperatures up. Well, there's not that much wind at the moment, so we're just ghosting along. Really trying to kill a little bit before the, uh, a little bit of time before the tide uh, starts to slacken off a little bit. At the moment, we're uh, we're just at the height of the ebb, and we're trying to make our way back into the river Blackwater. So um, we're going to have a bit of a punch against the tide anyway, there's not much we can do about that. We can see Bradwell in the distance there, which is where we're going to, uh, where we're going to end up, but we've got to uh, navigate around quite a big sandbank at St. Peter's Flat, so we've got to go a little bit away before we can start to turn back and enter the black water proper. I'll tell you what though, for sailing at the end of November, it doesn't really get much nicer than this I don't think. I say I don't think because I've hardly ever really sailed over the winter before, but um, plenty of layers, well wrapped up. Pick your day, not too blustery. Can't say that this would be much fun in a 20 odd knots of wind, but just look at that. November the 23rd, 2015. This is the entrance to Bradwell Marina, um, but I'm not bothering to go in because they need to get the gauge calibrated. Uh, just found the marina and he says you can knock a foot off what he says on the gauge, which is fine, but um, that's put me aground. And also uh, another boat that's just come in before me. Uh, he draws five foot, I draw three foot, the gauge says four foot. That means there is three foot or thereabouts, but obviously 
you've probably got to be pretty precise with your aim to get to the three foot bit of the channel. Anyway, cup of tea time and uh, awake for about 5 to 5.30.